<laughs> oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And before we get into this video, I just want to let you know there is a very big chance that there is going to be quite a lot of racket in this video. Now, normally I wouldn't record when the kids are going to be in the playground screaming, but I really, really need to record this video because this is going to be the last video I need to make until the Christmas holidays begin. And then I've got like 20 videos ready, so I won't need to record for a while. And I'm not going to be able to record over the holidays anyway. So I really need to get this video finished today. So if there ends up being a load of screaming in this video, I do apologise, but I'm not going to be able to not record, so I really do need to make this video. So like I said, if there's a load of noise in the background, like screaming and shouting that you can hear from children, I apologise. I'll try my best to edit out as much of it as I can, but as I've mentioned before, this new microphone that I use isn't like the old one I had, so editing out the noise is a lot more difficult now. So I'm just warning you now. But yeah, we're going to get straight into the game. I'm not going to bother doing any updates because I want to try and get as much of this done today as I can. If you want to know what's going on, just watch the last two videos and I probably explained it for about 20 million minutes in those videos. <laughs> but yeah, first things first, we need to speak to Sadie Adler and see what she wants. If I remember correctly, I think she might want us to deal with the remaining O'Driscolls because as you guys and girls know, we uh, defeated... Uh, we got Como Driscoll killed quite a few videos back. He was hung by the police and we made sure that the hanging went to plan and he was definitely killed. So yeah, Como Driscoll is dead now and I think she just wants to clean up the remaining O'Driscolls that are just dotted around the map, you know. But once we've done that, we're going to head down to San Denise and I'm finally going to buy a new horse. Because if you didn't see the last few videos, unfortunately my horse Bolt got killed by a steam train. Apparently, apparently it got killed by a steam train. I mean, in my opinion, the train didn't even hit the horse, but you know, whatever. Whatever, Rockstar, if you want to kill my horse, that's up to you. But yeah, let's go talk to Sadie Adler. Oh, lovely. We've got quite a few things we need to get done in this video, and it's going to be quite a few, like, chopping around and doing different things for different people, you know? We're going to be working with eagle flyers and stuff like that, you know, because he wants to go to war with the Americans, so we're going to be helping him with that, trying to make sure that he doesn't get himself killed. We're also doing stuff with, like, Rain Falls, who is try and Charles, and we're trying to defuse the whole situation that Dutch is creating. We're also uh, using dynamite to blow up a bridge so that we can cause even more chaos. We're just doing loads of crazy crazy shit at the moment, you know. <laughs> I think we're also planning on robbing another train to get a bunch of money so we can leave this place. It's just loads of crap going on right now. How you doing, Sadie? Mrs. Adler. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail? Jack? John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. 
What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him, he's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. Okay, right. Uh, I don't mind helping out Sadie Adler because, you know, she's been she's had our back throughout most of this game, you know, and I can understand why she is so angry and why she wants to defeat these O'Driscolls and that. So I don't mind helping out Sadie Adler. I know there's quite a few people in this game that are always asking me for help and they're very annoying, but, you know, like I said, Sadie Adler, Sadie Adler does deserve it, you know, and I can understand why she's so angry and what they've done to her, you know, because she's gone from being just a, a wife and her husband living up in the mountains. I mean, look, you come onto the map, you can see exactly where they used to live, you know. She was up um, up here, I think it is. Yeah, see, look, the Adler Ranch, and as you can see, look, burning, because they killed her husband and burnt down her house. So she went from being just a nice little farmer's wife, you know, doing work with her husband, living up in a nice, quiet mountains, probably on their own, you know, a couple of horses, a couple of animals, and then she had her entire life ruined by a bunch of wankers, you know. So I can understand why she's so furious, and she's got this bloody rage inside of her, you know. I'd want the same revenge as well, and I think I wouldn't stop until I kill them all. So I don't, I don't mind helping her out. I like Sadie Adler. I think she's a great character. Just uh, I just had to come over to my horse and get my weapons first. No real plan, then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Okay. Well, there's going to be a lot of bloody combat now. You didn't even give me a chance to get over here, did she? She's already gone ape shit, and my horse is following me for some reason. <laughs> Don't start following me, horse. You get yourself killed. I think she set fire to the barn. Uh, I was busy. Um, Getting my, uh, getting my guns and that. I think she just went and nailed that, mate. But there's going to be a fat dude in here that she wants to kill. I think it might be the man that maybe killed her husband, if I remember correctly. I think she wants to get revenge on him. So if you see a fat dude, don't kill him. I don't even know if you have the ability to kill him, but if you see him, if, you, if it does give you the ability to shoot him, don't do it, you know, because I think you'll really piss her off if you do. <laughs> there's so bloody many of them. Damn! Oh, is that a woman? I thought it was a woman then. I don't think I've ever seen a female uh, gangster in this game, to be honest. Like outside of my gang, at least. Oh, we got more important things to be doing than this, you know. But I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna uh, prevent Sadie Adler from getting her revenge. Oh, it's Sadie. I was trying to shoot Sadie. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to get revenge. I don't like the uh, O'Driscolls anyway, you know. I know I know they uh, killed her husband, but you also need to remember that they took me hostage and tortured me, you know. So we also need to uh, take that into consideration whenever we get the opportunity to kill these guys. <laughs> I'm so sick and fucking tired of every time I use my dead eye, there being something in the way. It really is starting to piss me off now. So many times it has happened. Oh, God. She is so crazy, isn't she? And he's fat! And he's got a beard! He's mine! Fucking hell, Sadie Adler. Why don't you have a damn cup of tea and calm the hell down? <laughs> Who's in here? Oh! Where are they? Oh, they're all upstairs. Flipping up. That looks like John Marston, that dude. That looks like John Bloody Marston, that guy. Oh, shit. That was close. Damn, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> Whew. Where?
Huh, I didn't see that one. I don't know, did, you, did you say someone's in the farmhouse or there's someone going in? I don't know what she just said then. I don't think I listened to her at all then. <laughs> Let's get in here and help her out. Damn, she went crazy in here. Whew. Better not be dead, Sadie. We've lost enough of our troops now and I like you. I don't want you to die. You're up there with John Marston for me. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Lovely. Right. Now, I think we might need to get out of this area because last time I was here, a bunch of cops turned up and started uh, started searching the place. I don't know if it was just unlucky that a bunch of police were in the area, but yeah, they started searching the place and I nearly got myself bloody arrested. But um, I think what we're going to do now, because we're very far away from any of the missions we need to do, I think we're going to run over to Wallace Station and I don't know if I can get a stagecoach there. I think I might be able to get a train. And then we're going to get a train ride over to San Denis. I'm going to get myself a new horse. I'm going to do it very quickly. I don't even think I'm going to bother buying a new saddle at the moment. Because uh, I just want to try and make some progress in this video. And then we're going to... I think we're going to go do this mission with Eagle Flyers and Dutch. Because uh, this one's been here for a while now. But Dutch has convinced Eagle Flyers to take action against the military. See? I know there's going to be quite a few... Uh, missions involving this the one with john that's going to be us blowing up this bridge here because i think we're either blowing up the bridge to cause chaos or we're blowing up this bridge because we're trying to prevent a train from leaving and we're going to rob it but i think it's a bit of both really a bit of chaos and also so we can rob a train and get some money and uh I don't know, I think Mike has said something about it. they plan on going to Blackwater once all this chaos starts and they're going to try and get the money they left in Blackwater from back before we started the game. So quite a few things are going on at the moment. There's a lot to keep up with in this game. This mission over here with Edith Downs, that involves Thomas Downs' wife and Thomas Downs is the man who coughed on me and gave me tuberculosis. You can do missions with her and help her out, you know, but I don't think we're going to have time to do that because there's still quite a lot of side missions to do. But yeah, we're going to head over to Wallace Station first. And then we're going to take a train to San Denis because I need to get myself a new horse. Oh dear, I still do miss Bolt. I am still very unhappy. <laughs> you have discovered a gang hideout. Yeah, a gang hideout that we've already done. There's quite a few gang hideouts that you can find in this game that involve other different gangs, you know. Because you've got like the O'Driscolls, you've got the Lamone Raiders. There's also a couple of different Mexican gangs that you can meet. So well, there are a few gangs in this game, and I think if you're trying to get 100% completion, 
and you want to get that trophy, I think you need to do six gang hired outs and take over six of them. This, uh, you can find them on Google, but I think generally, I think four of them will be done just throughout playing the game. So you've only got to go and find two on your own. And you can find two of them in the, uh, in the desert area on the other side of Blackwater, which is the same area that you're actually in when you play Red Dead Redemption 1. So you've, uh, you've probably been there before, like the town of Amarelio or Armadillo, whatever it's called, that little town that's in Red Dead Redemption 1. You can actually go there as well, but it's not the same town as it is in Red Dead Redemption 1, because apparently there's some sort of plague or disease there and it's a bit ugly and crappy. And then obviously Red Dead Redemption 1 takes place in the future and I guess they've recovered and rebuilt and stuff, you know. <laughs> My horse is very tired at the moment. I do apologise, Pony. I'm used to having Bolt. Hey, okay, oh. yep. I'm really disappointed with how Bolt died, you know? I mean, if it had died in combat, got shot, that's a different story, you know? It died in battle. You know, it's a worthy way of going. But the fact that it just got killed by a steam train that never even hit it really does annoy me. It does. It really annoyed me, that did. I know it's been like two videos ago now, but I'm still annoyed about it. <laughs> really annoyed. Come in, sir. Come in. You like whiskey? Uh, I mean, who don't? You have received a discount because I've got high honor. Oh, that's, I forgot about that. I think I mentioned this once, but yeah, I've got, um, you get discounts if you've got a high honor. Yes. Right, I want to get a train to San Denis. Now, the horse I'm going to buy, I think it is normally. Huh? Oh, I thought he was asking me what he can do for me. And maybe that was the shopkeeper. <laughs> I thought he was asking me what I wanted. I already asked for a ticket. But, uh, oh, this is what happens. The horse follows you, but when I was doing it on my own, like on my own, my own playthrough, my horse got run over by the bloody train. It was stupid. But yeah, um, I think the horse that we're going to buy normally costs $1,050. But because my honor level is maximum nearly, uh, I think we can get it for 950 maybe, so it's not a huge discount, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a bit of money, you know, we're still saving 70 pound. You could buy a lot of McDonald's for 70 pound, so you know, it's a benefit. Oh, fantastic. But I hope you guys and girls have enjoyed this playthrough. There's still quite a lot to do, because we've still got a few missions to do with... Uh, the whole main story of the game and then the epilogue I reckon is still a, probably at least 10 hours of stuff to do so there is still quite a lot of stuff to do as I'm saying this is a massive game a very big game definitely worth the 40 pound you know I just like this game because it's, it's a lot of value for money there's lots of stuff to do it's nice and slow paced for once you know and also it's a bit more of a mature game you know they do things a bit more maturely in this game Feels like a more adult game. It's got the same vibe as The Last of Us, you know. It's definitely, it's definitely built for adults, you know, and I like that, you know. Obviously, kids can play this too, and they'll still enjoy it, and they'll still probably understand what's going on, but it's definitely aimed more at adults. Right, let's go over and buy myself a horse now. Where's the shopkeeper? There he is. Lovely. We might as well run over there. Don't think we're going to... There's no point waiting for the horse because the horse is on the other side of that train and we're going to have to wait for the train to leave. So I'm just going to run over there on my feet. But I think we're going to do the mission with Eagle Flyers and Dutch next because um, that, uh, that mission's been there for a while and we've needed to do it, you know, because pretty much you've got Dutch and Eagle Flyers trying to cause chaos throughout the land, you know, because Eagle Flyers just wants revenge on the Americans for what they've been doing to the Native Americans, you know. So we've got that going on, and Dutch is like fanning the flames because he wants to cause chaos because he's a dick. And then uh, we've also got Charles and Rain Falls, the chieftain, trying to, you know, trying to dull the flames with some water, you know, trying to douse the flames, and I'm also helping them out so there ain't some massive war and then all of the uh, Native Americans end up dead. You've got that going on. You've got other members of the uh, tr of our gang that are slowly just splitting off and doing their own things. You've got the Reverend that's left, you know. You've got John and Abigail that want to leave, you know. You've also got um, Sadie Adler who's like gone mad with rage over these O'Driscolls. There's loads of little other things going on at the same time. And then obviously you've got the ultimate goal, which is to go to Tahiti. So there's there's so much stuff going on. Oh, 525. Oh, it is a big discount. I think it might be because my honor level is even higher than it is on my own account. On my own playthrough off of YouTube, I think uh, my discount was only to 950. 
That is a huge discount, but this is probably the best horse you can get, to be honest. It's just the exhilaration. It's just, it's just a great horse. And also, you've got the elite handling, which is nice, but let's buy this. Right, what should we name this? I think we're gonna. <laughs> look, at, look at his face. <laughs> we're gonna name this horse. Oops. Bolt 2. There we go. <laughs> it's a very crappy name, but you know. I'm going to uh, put my... Is my saddle on it? Upgrade the equipment. Ah. Right, let's just do it. Let's just make a very quick... A very quick uh, upgraded saddle. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, because uh, I ain't got a lot of time. There we go. A nice white saddle. only live once, lest you're a cat. Lovely. Now our uh, saddle bags. Upgraded saddle bags. Here we go. Stirrups. I want the best stirrups. There we go. Horns. I think it was a wolf one, maybe. Oh, that'll do for now. I'm just doing this really quickly because I don't want to waste too much time. I got one of them myself. I'll get this one. It looks pretty nice. There we go. That suits nicely. Bed rolls. These are all just decorative, you know. They don't affect anything, to be honest. The stirrups do, but most of the other stuff don't really affect anything. Appearance, mane. Ah, here we go. I'm going to change the mane. I'm going to make it... Uh, where? Where's the long one? Here we go. And then I'm going to make it bright white. There you go. Beautiful. Then we're going to do the towel. We're also going to make it long. And we're going to make this white as well. There we go. Lovely. Services... Horse care package, lovely. And I think that's done now. We've got ourselves a brand new horse called Bolt 2. There you go, what do you think of that? This is Bolt 2, an absolutely stunning horse, an Arabian horse. Very, very fast. Lovely. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're not actually gonna be able to ride on this horse just yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the stagecoach and I'm going to take a ride, probably to, where's the mission at? To Valentine, I guess. And then uh, we'll be able to run up to Eagle Flies. I'm going to try and get the mission done with Eagle Flies. And also the mission done with uh, John Marston in this video, if I can. I might, I might try and make this video about an hour. So uh, I know they've been 45 minutes recently because I've not had much time. But I've got a bit more time at the moment because I've been recording during... Normally the kids have their break now, but they've not gone in the playground yet and it's way past their break time. So I feel like I might just be lucky today and they've not actually had their break. It is the last day of school for them. Also the last day of work for me because I'm recording this on the 19th of December. So I don't know, maybe they're just doing something in the school. Maybe there's like a concert or a disco or something and they've not had their, uh, not had their break time. But you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's still a chance they might start making a racket. So we better, better beware. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. I like how Cornwall owns everything. He owns the stagecoaches, he owns the oil plant, you know, he owns the trains. Cornwall owned everything. I mean, he's dead now. We've, we've well, Dutch killed him, so <laughs> he don't own much now. But damn, yeah, he had a lot of stuff, didn't he? He took it personally when we robbed him, but we didn't really rob him, you know. It's not our fault that every time we rob something, you own it, you know. It's not like we personally did it to Cornwall. You know, we just, we, that's just what bandits do in the Western times. They robbed stagecoaches and trains, you know. If you own both of those things, you're going to be robbed. That's just how it's going to work. <laughs> oh. well, this is you. I guess I've got a bounty. I might as well quickly go and pay off my bounty then. Not sure why I've got a bounty. I don't remember doing anything wrong in Valentine. Jesus. Sorry, mate. Did I scare you? I'll see you again, sir. Happy to help you start over. Oh, I don't even know how I got a uh, bounty. Thanks, partner. You see how he's co uh, commenting about my cough. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Flipping out. It's only a bit of tuberculosis. Not that bad, mate. You'll be fine. Hello, you. Yeah, hello. How you doing? I've got a horse care package which fills up the uh, health and the stamina to uh, yellow levels. 
There's a lot of stranger missions we can do in this game. So yeah, once I've finished this game, we've done the epilogue and that. I mean, personally, I would prefer to be done with the game, you know. I love the game, it's brilliant and I've enjoyed it, but I've been doing it for so long now that I would prefer to just end the playthrough. But if you guys and girls are still enjoying it and you still want me to do more things, once I've completed the game and then I've completed the epilogue, we can go back and start doing stranger missions, you know. There's various different ones we can do. Quite a lot of them we won't be able to do because we've finished the story, but there are still a lot of others that you can still do, you know, that are quite fun to do. So if you still want me to play the game when I'm done, you know, I don't mind. I would prefer not to just because there's other games I want to play. But like I said, you know, this channel is for you guys and girls and also my sister. So if she wants me to do it and you guys want me to do it, I'm, I'm fine with it, you know, I don't mind, you know. But I would prefer to do something else because like, I've been doing this for since October. It's <laughs> a massive game. Good job I did one hour videos or I'd be even further behind. Ah, oh, I remember this mission. Yeah, okay. We're going to start causing a lot of havoc. Alright, I'm already doing it, Dutch, you dickhead. Yeah, we're going to be causing quite a lot of havoc now. <laughs> quite a lot of havoc indeed. Let's go and have a chat with Dutch. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. That sounds like something that happened in recess. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We, we really ain't helping them. We, re we really ain't helping them, Dutch. You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh dear, he, he, he seems to act like everybody's a twat, doesn't he? He's like, he thinks we're all stupid. But yeah, there's an episode of Recess where uh, TJ, the main the main kid in Recess, uh, he does a prank on King Bob, if I remember correctly, and it goes wrong, and then they end up like throwing a load of goo and feathers over uh, TJ, and it ends up being like a backfired prank. But that's all like what we're doing now. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, Wolf and Wolfettes. I mean, I know I'm 26. I mean, by the time you watch this video, I'm going to be 27. But uh, I know I'm an adult, but damn, I love recess. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. I'm just going to listen to what they're saying, just in case I'm missing anything important. I shouldn't be talking over the characters. I do apologise, but, you know, uh, when I've got something to say, I need to say it, as I'll forget what I'm going to say, and then uh, I won't end up saying it at all. <laughs> Oh God, it's like I've got short-term bloody memory loss. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See, we're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Tying up loose ends, but causing a whole lot of other problems at the same time. Like, we're going to have uh, the Native Americans are going to be pissed with us when they find out you're using them. <laughs> the Pickertons are still after us. The Bounty Hunters are all after us. Everyone's after us. Nothing has changed, really. Yo, Driscoll's have been dealt with, I guess, and that's about it. And they wasn't really that much of a big deal anyway, were they? Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Okay, coming in. It's nice that my stamina is still going up. It seems like a good way of getting your stamina up is to swim. 
So uh, make sure you have a swim. How many people are up here actually? Uh, have we got? Have I got my weapon? Yeah, I've got my weapons. Why? Why the hell do I have uh, a sniper rifle? When the hell did I get that? Where's my pony gone? Oh, there it is. I'm just going to go over to my horse a minute, Dutch, because I don't, I don't want a sniper rifle. You may think it's a good weapon to have during this mission because you're up on the ledge, but it really, really isn't. I don't like it at all. I want to get my bolt-action rifle for long, long distance fighting. I also need to buy some gun oil eventually because there's going to be a lot of combat in the rest of this game and I want to have my weapons in top-notch condition. The plunger. <laughs> my spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more There's than... There's not that many of them. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. <laughs> Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Oh. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Won't be happy about oh, fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, they did fire first, you know, so they can't complain about it. He's not wrong there, is he? <laughs> uh, you got to be careful because they will start running up the side of this mountain in a minute. Oh, there they come. Look, if I had some dynamite, I could absolutely annihilate these guys very, very quickly. But, you know, I've, uh, I wasted it all when I was doing uh, the mission where we had to deal with the Murphy, uh, the Murphy brood when we first... When we first arrived in this area and set up camp. Jesus! There's a lot of people here, isn't there? There's a dude right next to me as well. I'm panicking now. Where is he? Oh! Oh, right in the ankle. Hey, take that, mate. Oh, shit! Is that Charles? Oh, I'm trying to shoot someone that's on our team. Whoops. Where are we going, then? Oh, we're just looting their bodies. These men quickly, then we move. Oh, okay, we're just looting the bloody soldiers. Did I just pick up a document already? Oh, I've got some gun oil. That's nice. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Shit! Everyone, keep your Oh, well, shit! <laughs> Where the flipping hell did they come from? I think they've got a cannon up there we need to deal with. God damn it. Woo, it's a big fight in this bloody video, isn't it? Damn. <laughs> a lot of action. I don't remember there being this much battling in this bit. I 
I'm just trying to get near the cannon. There we go. Where's Peta? Damn. We're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flip? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. Oh, God damn it. Good job I got myself a new horse that can run quickly. <laughs> Man, I've got such a majestic horse. It's like the complete opposite of, of Dutch, innit? He's got a white horse and I've got the black horse. You'd think that he's the goody, though, because he's got the white horse. White horses are more like the hero, innit? And the black horse is like a villain. And yet I'm a goody and he's a baddie. Well, he's not a baddie. He's just hes a bit stupid at the moment. He's not necessarily a baddie. He's just seems to have lost his mind a bit. Okay, then. Okay, let's dismount get out of the way. Get out of the way, turkeys. Down this path. All right. Yes, we will. I'm just running. I don't need to make my horse flee. I don't think they're going to shoot my horse. Oh, shit. What was that? Someone just shoot at me and Dutch, like, flipping RKO'd them, didn't they? It's really hard to run and gun in this game, especially with bolt action rifles, because there's a bit of a wobble going on. So if you like start trying to run and gun, it seems to be like nearly impossible. I don't know. It's all right with like the Lancaster repeater. That's all right to do it with. Oops! I just shot the grass again. I really don't like the grass in this game, do I? I've shot it more times than people. Come on, hurry up, Dutch. Jesus Christ. See, all we're doing now is causing a lot more aggro for the Native Americans again, you know? That's all we're doing. Because we just killed, like, half of their army. How do you think they're going to treat the Native Americans now? This is exactly what Dutch wants, though, isn't it? He wants there to be a load of chaos, you know? And killing half of the American army with Native Americans clearly involved because there's going to be some bodies of them there. It's, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's going to cause a lot of shit for them. But Dutch doesn't care, you know? He just wants to uh, make money and escape to bloody Tahiti. So many of them. Flipping hell. This is it. This is... Well, Arthur. Put your hands up. I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. 
Now, it's waste. We can't fight nature, Captain. We can't fight change. We can't fight. We need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll. We'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Favorite sons complete. A lovely. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Things are not going very well, are they? Things are not going very well. There's so much to keep track of, you know. <laughs> so much to keep track of. I feel sorry for Arthur Morgan, you know. He's the one with the tuberculosis. He's the one having a bad time, nearly dying, you know, and flipping, trying to be a good man. And then you've got all of his gang that are still trying to be bad. You've got other members of his gang trying to be good, and he's like stuck in the middle trying to help everybody. Pain in the ass. I'm not going to have enough time to do this next mission with John because I know exactly what I've got to do, and it is a it's a bit of a long mission, you know. I mean, we can we could give it a go. We'll give it a go. I'll try and do some of it, and if it takes too long, then I'll just have to finish it whenever I record next. Because like I've mentioned a hundred times, uh, this will be the last video that I'm recording until after Christmas, you know. After probably the seventh of January will be the next time I record. And today is the 19th of December. I've still got to do some videos over Christmas because uh, I've got uh, two Christmas videos I plan on doing. But uh, those videos, they won't take very long to do. One of them is involving T-Wolf, if everything goes to plan. And another one is just sewing for you guys and girls. A bit of an appreciation sort of video, you know. So, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll get to see those. You, probably, you would have already seen both of those videos, you know, because they would have been done on Christmas Day, probably. <laughs> so, uh, you know... You you will uh, you would have seen those videos already. I think I can hear the kids in the playground. Yeah, I think the kids are about to go into the playground. Right, I'm going to have to end the video now instead, Wolf and Wolfex, because there's no point in me ruining the end of this video with a load of noise. I've been recording for 45 minutes. That is the amount of time these videos are supposed to be, so, you know, it's not too bad, you know. It's not like I'm ending it in 30 minutes or anything like that. But, yeah, I'm going to uh, come up here, have a nice look at the sunset, and we'll end the video for today. So, yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf Wolf, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you're keeping up with all the stuff that's going on, you know, because I know I didn't really do a recap in this video, but yeah, hopefully you guys and girls know what's going on. Sorry if I sound like I'm treating you all like idiots, you know, I just like to uh, let you all know what's going on, because I know there's loads of stuff to keep up with in this game, and if you've never played it before, you might not necessarily really know what's going on, and plus I also upload these videos every other day, you know, so you might have forgot what's happening, you know, because there's more important things to worry about in your lives than what is going on in Red Dead Redemption 
function so it's very easy to forget what's going on so you know i just like to update you all to help you all out you know but yeah i'm not doing it thinking you're an idiot or anything like that you know i'm not a dick i'm just i'm just trying to help be nice you know <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video like share and join the pack today oh!